Hi, my name is Hermione Lofton, and I'm a, I'm a junior from Waverly High School. And this is my poem, Paint Splattered. <laughs> I know a girl with paint splattered hands, with short nails and torn cuticles. One hand is long and nimble, and the other broken and bent. I know a girl with paint splattered feet, with callous bottoms and hairy tops. Feet that carry her like winged sandals, making her a blur against the background. She hates shoes and socks. She says they suffocate her freedom. I know a girl with a paint splattered, with paint splattered legs, with scars that look like lightning against the sky, with muscles that carry her through 90 minute soccer games that maneuver her past her opponents and to her goals. I know a girl with a with, paint, with a paint splattered mouth, it has a mind of its own and it never seems to stop. She has a different joke for everything, even if it's not funny. I know a girl with a paint splattered mind. She thirsts for knowledge and culture. She's a poet. She can, she can spin a word into a phrase and a phrase into an epic. I know a girl with a paint splattered heart. She smiles at every insult, at every rejection. A girl who told him she loved him, and all he could say was no. I am a girl with paint splattered hands. I scrub day and night, but my sins never wash off. I cleanse with the saying, I'm okay, I'm okay, I'm not okay. I am a girl with paint splattered feet, weary from running from all of my problems to the point that I can't even stand. I am a girl paint splattered legs. I hate the scars that cover me like a Jackson Pollock. Scars that remind me that life never really goes my way. I am a girl with a paint splattered mouth. The words escape before I think, and they're not always nice. They drip from my mouth, burning like acid. I am a girl with a paint with a paint splattered mind. I can't decide on one poem, much less a career. I am a girl with a paint splattered heart. Some days it can hardly beat. Its, its paint splatters look more like gashes now, but I still hold out the hope that I won't need to carry the weight of the world. I want to be a masterpiece made out of my blood, sweat, laughter, and memories, but not for your museum, not for the world to gawk at. I don't want to be a picture on the wall. I don't want your pity or your admiration. I just want to be me.